Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com and today we're gonna talk about video editing in Premiere Pro and one of the fastest like force multiplier time-saving tricks in Adobe Premiere Pro when you're editing on your timeline is the ripple delete function. You gotta see it. Uh, maybe you already use the ripple delete, but we're gonna cover a whole bunch of ripple delete stuff in this tutorial. I think you're really gonna love it. I think it's gonna save you a ton of time when you're editing, especially if you're new to Premiere Pro, you are absolutely going to uh, adore this feature. It's amazing. If you do enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can check out all the video editing and Premiere Pro tutorials and all that good stuff uh, that has gone on before and of course you'll be able to catch up with all of the new Premiere Pro and video editing tutorials uh, that come forth after this one as well. Let's jump in and check this thing out. Here we are in Premiere Pro. Let's zoom in and check out this ripple delete thing. Uh, what we've got here is a bunch of just dialogue where I'm kind of talking to the camera. I've made my voice a lot deeper so it's easier to differentiate between the actual tutorial and the footage we're working on in Premiere Pro here. Uh, but you can see we've got a bunch of gaps. So let's say we want to begin closing these gaps to make a more just kind of consistent video that works and we just have a bunch of jump cuts in there. So the first ripple delete will be, we place our, our playhead wherever we wanna place it. We grab our razor tool and we make a series of cuts. So we cut the, the audio and the video and then let's say we'll also cut it here. Well, what we can do, grab our selection tool, we can select this stuff and we can right click and we can choose this right here, ripple delete. And when I do that, it not only deletes the clip, but it automatically backs my timeline up. And what it's done is it's taken all the video clips, even these clips that aren't on the same track, it's kept them in place and just bumped everything down the time. And let me undo that. Watch, watch everything move. Right click here and we'll just choose ripple delete and boom, everything jumps together. Now, one of the great things about Premiere Pro is that you can set your own hotkeys. So up here under Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts right there, we can select that and we can begin typing into the little search field here, ripple delete. And you can see there it is, edit, ripple, delete, and we can set a hotkey. Now, I have my hotkey shortcut set to the letter X. So you can set yours to whatever you like. But what happens is, like here, I've got this gap between these two clips. I can click on that gap and hit the letter X, and it will ripple delete that gap, therefore pulling my two clips together. Now, obviously, there's still a big gap in the, the audio that needs to be rectified. We'll look at uh, cleaning up some of these, these gaps in just a second. But you can quickly knock out and ripple delete just by hitting the letter X when you select either a blank area or if you make another cut in your video you can select the portion of video to be lifted out, hit the letter X, it ripple deletes it out of there and gets it right out of the way. Now, one other thing you might have noticed, if I undo that ripple delete, we have some markers here. So I've got these markers, let's say you know they're little graphics that need to go in place or it's a specific point in the uh, dialogue that you need to be aware of for your editing notes. You can have those move along with your ripple delete. If we come up here to marker and just make sure we have ripple sequence markers checked on. So if I select this blank area, hit the letter X, you can see those markers move with the video that's being ripple deleted. The markers that are before our ripple delete, they don't get touched. So now another thing that is really gonna help you in terms of uh, ripple deleting and editing your video quickly is another keyboard shortcut. So go back to Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts and we are going to look for a command called add edit. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. Add edit, it's under the sequence menu, add edit. Now I've added the shortcut Z. This is not there by default, at least, you know, for my years of using Premiere Pro, it's never been there for me. So I like to add the keyboard shortcut Z to that and check this out. What happens is any targeted track, so you can see anything with this blue highlight, see now we've untargeted V1, anything that's targeted, if we deselect any active video tracks and hit the letter Z, you can see it's going to make a cut right there. So that's pretty awesome. What I can do here is, let me just undo that cut. Let's say we wanna cut through all this stuff because we wanna zoom in here and we wanna get rid of this gap, right? We wanna get rid of this gap right here. So what I'll do is I'll hover over this, I'll deselect, so I, don't, I haven't selected anything, our graphic and our video, hit the letter Z, it cuts through everything and then simply move over to here, hit the letter Z once more, then I can just select all that stuff, hit the letter X, it just ripple deletes it right out of there, and our video clip moves on. Premiere Pro. Now the extend edge edit function and you can see we move it right along. So here's where something else comes into play for us. And that would be the actual ripple delete tool. And it's right over here, the ripple edit tool. Note the hotkey is the letter B. It's a very useful tool. Now, one thing about this clip is I have synced it with audio. So the clip, the audio is not linked to the video itself. So let's actually grab our selection tool. Just select this one clip. We'll right click on it and choose to link it. This means that when we edit the video, you can see the, the, the audio is gonna kind of drag along with it. So hit the letter B to grab our ripple edit tool. And and we can simply pull the video right back to where we want the cut to be. And you can see it just cuts that blank, junky audio out. Bro. 
The extend edit function is available. And we have a great edit just like that. It's super duper easy. Now, one other thing you can do with the ripple delete tool is you don't even really need to select the ripple delete tool. Let me move back here to the beginning of my video. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna link these, this audio and video clip together here. Uh, all the way up until right here, all this stuff here, this is all junk. This is all stuff that got messed up right when I began the video. So how can we delete that? Well, we could always hit the letter Z, right? Just select that and then select this stuff. We could delete it and back all the video up. Or of course we could select it, hit the letter X to ripple delete it. Or we don't even need to make a cut. You can, with this linked video clip, hold down the command or control key. And as you hover close to the edge of your video, you get that yellow arrow. That's the ripple delete tool. So holding down command or control, I can just simply drag back to like right there. It ripple deletes it. And now if I play this, my video will begin right at the audio that I actually want. Today we want to talk about using the extend edit function in Adobe Premiere Pro. The extend so let's zoom in here on the timeline and take a look at this edit in our video. I'm just going to use my plus key to zoom in. You can see that there's a gap in the sound. The, the ripple delete was not quite perfect. Well, something that's pretty cool is you can actually ripple delete frame by frame. Hit the letter B to activate the ripple delete tool and then simply click on the cut in the video and hold down your alter option key. And in this case, I'm gonna tap the left arrow key to ripple delete back toward my audio. Maybe I'll ripple delete back to the right one frame and then click to select the other side of the edit. And what I need to do, I need to link this audio and video together. We'll select that, right click and link it. Hit the letter B to grab our ripple delete tool. Select on that side of the cut, hold down your alter option key. And in this case, I'm gonna tap the right arrow key. So I'm gonna tap, 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 and there we go. Now we'll have a little bit more uh, of a seamless audio experience as it moves from one click to the next check it out your editors and that is of course the case with the so pretty cool you can really get in there and do some nitty-gritty work it's just that alt option and the left or right arrow keys but you need to make sure that you've selected the ripple delete tool and that you select the cut that you want to push or pull from that is a super duper useful little trick. Now, one of my favorite ways to ripple delete is really not even a ripple delete at all. It's just sort of setting an in and an out point and extracting the chunk of clip. The nice thing about this is you can very quickly select like right here, we're really going over two video clips as well as our shot video clips, so three video clips in total plus the audio. So I could come to right here, I could hit the letter I, which is going to set an in point, and then I'll move over to right here to right where the audio is, right? So I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit, get a nice example exact cut. I'll hit the letter O to set an out point. And you can see we've sort of selected this chunk of video on all of these, on all of these tracks. I've got all the tracks targeted here, by the way. And then all I have to do is hit the apostrophe key. It does the same as this right here. It's called extracting. See the hot key? It's that just the, the simple apostrophe. And when I do that, it's going to cut that chunk right out and ripple delete everything that's sort of downstream down the timeline and push it right back into place. So that's a really great trick. I use that all the time when I'm editing really, really helpful. Now, another feature that can be really helpful is the rolling edit tool. And this is sort of a, a type of ripple delete, uh, but it's it's more, it's more really considered a rolling edit. That tool is located right here underneath the ripple edit tool. Note the hotkey is the letter N. What you can do with this is you can grab a uh, where two videos come together, any edit point, and click and drag, and it will sort of ripple delete and ripple extend, or ripple delete and extend edit, I should say, the clips on both sides. Now, the really nice thing that I've found about this is if you hold down the alter option key, you can ripple delete just the audio or video track. And that's great for performing what's called a J cut or an L cut. So it's a type of transition where you can see the video will remain the same. Just watch and check out this effect. On linear editors, and that is of course the case with- So you'll see some trendy YouTubers using this. And of course you can uh, ripple or, or J or L cut it back the other way. Linear editors, and that is of course the case with- So depending on the effect you're going for, in this case it doesn't really work, uh, but it's a really cool little transition, and if your video is conducive to that type of edit, it's a really cool way. And using the rolling edit tool, holding down that alter option key, and just dragging one or the other, and you can, by the way, do it with the audio track as well. Um, but just you know, pushing or pulling one or the other way can create a really, really cool transition. And they're called either J or L transitions, depending on which way they're swinging, uh, because you know, it makes like what looks like the letter J or the letter L. Now, another cool thing you can do is perform what's called just a kind of more traditional extend edit, where we place the playhead or the current time indicator, the marker here, where we want the cut to be like right there. And we simply select the transition here. I'll just link this clip to make this easier. Let's link that together. And we'll select the transition right there. You see it's red, it's selected. And all you have to do is hit the letter E and it's gonna trim that back. Now, obviously it didn't ripple delete everything. We could select the video, the empty video area, hit the letter X and there it would be ripple delete. Uh, one other thing you can do is do a perform an extend edit this way where let's say we want to extend the video out. If you have video there, hit the letter E and it will extend the video right 
to where the current time indicator is. Now finally, one last thing I wanna show you is another pretty cool sort of extend or roll edit hotkey. Uh, let's say here we, we make a cut in our video, right? Like we, we cut the video here, let's just select this video track. Let me retarget all this junk that I have going on here. But I'm, I'm only selecting this video clip. I'm gonna hit the letter Z, it's just gonna cut that, right? And then I hold down my command or control key and I just ripple edit just like that. And you can see we've, we've clipped away all that space. But the problem is like this last clip is our outro. So we don't want the time-lapse clouds to still be there. So let's move and our current time indicator will snap to that little transition. If we hit the down arrow key, of course hitting the up arrow key takes you to the previous transition. Hitting the down arrow key will snap you to the next uh, cut in your video. And all we need to do at this point is target just that that track. So first and foremost, we can hold down our shift key and click on V2 to deselect all tracks. We'll do the same down here for A1. We've deselected all tracks and then we'll just select V2. And all we need to do is hit shift and the letter W and it will clip all video after the current time indicator back to where you are. Now, let's say we actually didn't want to trim that. Instead, we wanted to extend this fireworks clip all the way to the end. Well, first what I'll do is I'll undo what we just did and I'll just simply hit shift and the letter Q and you can see it just searches for sort of the, the next cut over and as long as that clip is long enough, it'll just extend it right into place and then we can select a little bit of cloud stuff left and just delete it, get it rid of the clip. Now, you may be thinking, can't I just hold down my command or control key and look, you can hover over that and use the rolling edit tool and do it just like that. And the answer is absolutely you can do that. There's a ton of ways to go in and work with these ripple delete tools in Premiere Pro. You just gotta get in there and really mess around with them. But ripple deleting in general is so, so incredibly useful and it's gonna save you so much time when you're working and editing big video projects, small video projects, stuff with multiple video tracks, stuff with just one video track. And it's also important to note that the ripple delete and ripple edit and even rolling edit back and forth, extend edit, roll edit, all of that, it works on audio tracks as well. And that's particularly useful if you're extending the audio out past something or you're performing one of those J or L edits. It can just really, really, really be useful. Um, just remember to target the track that you want, particularly if you're using the hotkeys and things like that. That's really, really helpful and a good thing to keep in mind as you're rolling through and editing with Ripple Delete in Adobe Premiere Pro. But at the very least, just play with the Ripple Delete tool by itself and work the hotkeys in and see what works for you. Some things might work flawlessly in your workflow and others not so much. So for learning a little bit about the Ripple Deletes and Ripple Edit and Rolling Edit tools and some other hotkeys and mixing things up and mashing things up and having a little bit of fun in Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do. And this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.